I saw this recommendation from so many people, and you guys all thought you were being clever, making me face off against all the modded gods, without realizing that the Greek pantheon isn't part of this mod. You only get two, Thor and Odin, and I get to shish kebab them on sharpened telephone poles. <laughs> You see, Odin, this is why you don't have a take your kid to work day as a god. He's just gonna show up and screw everything. Okay, well, that's a minor inconvenience, but... Um... Okay. Is it too late to take back my cockiness? Oh, son of a... What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, where for today's episode, I just sent out a tweet asking you guys for armies that I can face off against. And as those recommendations start flooding in, I'm gonna pick out whatever catches my eye and try to beat it. Now, if you missed your chance to be in this video, don't worry, I'm gonna do this kind of stuff again. I don't really know when, because it's always very last minute and unplanned, but keep an eye on my Twitter, at the Captain Sauce. There's a link in the description of all my videos. We'll start things off with the Tabs Royal Rumble, featuring a king, a pirate queen, blackbeard captain, chieftain Jarl, monkey king, grim reaper, da Vinci tank, quick draw, and the stipulation that I can't use the ballista. I love that you can tell this was written by someone who's seen plenty of my videos before because they know that I'm always gonna wanna resort to the ballista, to the god killer to take down these super powerful units. But now I, I don't get them and I've gotta be just about the strongest unit from almost every single faction in the game at once. <laughs> now, I kinda wanna try the rune mage here, but not just because it's a hilarious broken modded unit, but because I don't think we've turned many of those enemies into werewolves before. I'm kind of curious what's gonna happen. Also, if you haven't seen any of these user recommendation battles before, the way it works is I'm not gonna use any more money than my opponent has because they can't change their army. I'll treat it like it's an actual tabs campaign, make it somewhat of a fair fight. It's just that in regular tabs campaigns, you can't have some kind of magic furry mosh pit. <laughs> what happened to the tank? Oh! So it transforms the entire tank. I kind of figured it would just transform Da Vinci inside, but we've got multiple Da Vinci's now. Wait, wh what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, what? So, no, there's definitely two Da Vinci's now. I can still see the one in the tank and there's one dead on the ground. So we duplicated Da Vinci. I thought he fell out when the tank turned into a werewolf. I'm so confused. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention that we're getting absolutely ruined. <laughs> Yeah, the problem is, if you turn them all into furries at once, then nobody dies. They all just kind of yiff at one another. It's not all that effective. So as expected, the rune mage broken, but hilarious. Which is kind of what I'm going for here, right? It's entertaining. But that being said, I do actually want to win. I, I want to try so that I can move on to other recommendations. So I think I'm going to hit them with the blizzard. Usually the freeze ability is really good against large, powerful units. We've got a bunch of different units with the freeze ability now. We've got Ice Archers, but we've also got the Warhorn, which is a new modded unit. You know, it's got the Freezing Toots, which is kind of like the opposite of the Flaming Toot, Taco Bell's signature move. <laughs> and we might even be able to tag in a couple of Ulers. Do we still have access to Uler right now? We do, okay, good. So I can put an Uler here and an Uler there and hope for the best. I think that looks pretty good. We might need to pick off Da Vinci inside the tank. I don't think we can freeze the tank itself, but we've also got the problem of focusing and these guys aren't great at focusing. Like we don't do a whole lot of damage. If they start to gradually thaw out, then we've kind of lost all of our progress. <laughs> someone like the Reaper isn't moving, which is great, but someone like Blackbeard could easily charge down these lines and ruin us. Keep going, guys. Don't let those fires in his hair warm him up. Oh, this is actually working. I'm seeing people fall over. Are you kidding me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can, can we get it? I've never seen that before. So we froze the Reaper and he didn't fully explode for some reason. Only his shawl did. It, it left us with the skeleton. I've played a lot of tabs. That's new. Interesting. Oh, are we actually getting Da Vinci out of this or is this gonna be a problem? The tank isn't slowing down, guys. We really need to start bombarding this thing. Oh, oh, yeah. 
I don't think he's got central air in there. It doesn't look like he's warming up. This worked flawlessly. You know when the enemy is huddling together for warmth, there's no kind of strategic cuddle that's gonna save them. We have so many units left over. Okay, I feel really good about that. That's an accomplishment. This isn't technically a recommendation from you guys, but you always get my imagination running, and now I really want to find out what happens when you try to werewolf eyes, lichen eyes, furry eyes. What happens when you try to transform a modern tank into a werewolf? I feel like I've tried this before, but at the same time, I don't remember being able to duplicate the riders and then the tank disappearing, but then we get a different number of werewolves. It, you can't predict how it's gonna break things. And breaking things is always the most fun. Okay. I think it transformed. Oh, I see what's happening. <laughs> we have a bunch of red team riders and they can't get off the blue tanks. Okay, I understand now. I love that they all reappear T-posed as well. Can I catch that? Like, there's blue tanks with red riders. So the tanks are trying to fire on each other to get the riders off, but they can't because it's absolute mayhem. <laughs> These freaking rune mages ruin everything and the tanks are just popping out of one another. Like, I don't feel like anybody is gonna win here or everybody wins here. Yeah, I feel like we're all winners here. We just had two tanks and now we have four. One of them is underground. <laughs> they can't win because the riders are on the other team and they're like not doing well. Yeah, I'm going to say they're not doing well. Is, is this just a draw? I think I'm going to call this a draw. I need to wipe the tears out of my eyes. Jesus. It was a little hard to catch, but I'm pretty sure what happened is all of the soldiers and the tank itself turned into a werewolf. So one tank turns into four werewolves. But then when they transform back, you've got individual soldiers who don't have anywhere to be. So this happens <laughs> and a tank that needs more soldiers. So it just spawns three at random, except they're on the wrong team. So everything just goes to hell. Like, could you maybe come over here and help? This guy? Oh no, you've got problems of your own. Um, can we get a medic over here? This guy's dick is just stuck in the ground. We're moving on to the revenge of the hobbits. Three halflings, three ice giants with three priests each. Well, would you look at that? Everyone's favorite crash test dummy has finally decided to stand up for himself. And he recruited some big help and some holy help. I, I, I can't really explain. There's probably a joke about the priests thinking that the hobbits are kids, but I'm too lazy to make it. I just want to make the Watcha work. You know what? I've been trying for multiple episodes now to get a good round out of the Watcha because it's such a cool unit, but it never does anything. It always just tips over and shoots itself or misses entirely. Please, can you just volley the crap out of my enemy? I want to see you succeed so badly. Okay, big guys down. Oh, we got one that squeaked through. Can, can we? Can we maybe get that? Oh no! Oh no! This is the last thing that we needed. You guys aren't gonna be able to <laughs> deal with that. No! Oh, I won! Oh, thank God! I thought we'd shot ourselves a million times over there. No, you know what? I'm gonna say that's not good enough. Even if it was a victory, I want a resounding victory because, I mean, they are who they are. So I'm gonna spread things out a little bit differently. So this way, if the Hobbitses do manage to cross the bridge, we can hopefully murder them. Okay, we got the same squeaker. Please shoot now. No, why do you keep ignoring him? You gotta be kidding me. Now they're all gonna turn and bad things are gonna happen. Oh, oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. Everything is good. We've just got one priest left who's managed to hide in the corpse trench. He's just praying for a forecast that doesn't involve rocket arrows. Oh, I think we got him. How about one of every mount units? Horses, bears, raptors, wolf, whatever there is. It's honestly getting a little tricky to figure out what is and isn't a mounted unit anymore. Like the tank, is it technically mounted? It's got soldiers on its back. Or the barrel roller, is that a barrel that's mounted? 
<laughs> is the bomb cannon mounted by an idiot? Who knows? So I'm just gonna go with the horses and the wolves and the bears and the raptors and the wagon because I feel like that's fair enough. And I kind of want to see them charge into pikemen because that's what pikemen are for. Like that was their entire use. You don't 1v1 a guy in the streets with a 20 foot long pole. It's to ruin cavalry. So hopefully I can make a decent enough formation, double layered and not too bad. See if they charge into this and get ruined. Oh no. Of course, we didn't use pikes against bear cavalry because that wasn't a thing. <laughs> he just swims over them. He's so overpowered. Oh, I completely forgot about Cupid. It has been a long time since I've used Cupid in this game, and he is the perfect counter to mounted units. <laughs> because he makes the rider want to love the ridey. This is going to be ridiculous. I'm expecting full-blown Beyblades. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, they still hurt. They still hurt a whole lot, even if they're spinning around. They're just kind of flailing. The, the bear is doing pretty good backflips. The Russian judge is definitely given that a 10. But we kind of need to kill them. I, I would like them to be dead now, please. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you counter flailing that powerful? I'm honestly not sure what the answer is here. Like, I have a nuclear option, but I don't want to resort to that quite yet. I, I want to see if I can actually beat this on my own. Maybe we can try a tornado? What if we get uh, Lady Red Jade Tornado into the air? It's going to be difficult because she needs to be attacking something to start spinning. And it's really hard to attack these guys because they just kind of drive by. <laughs> we could back her up with... Oh, I don't know. Actually, back her up with Cupid. Yeah, that, that was Cupid's issue was that he didn't have anyone killing. He was just loving. You know, you got to make love and war. <laughs> Come on, Lady Red Jade. Oh, okay. That seems pretty effective. That's a real big tornado. I don't know if bears are weak to tornadoes. That's something that I haven't tried before. <laughs> I can't imagine there are many textbooks that feature that information. Are we winning? I feel like we're sucking up our own cupids. Why? Uh, Ms. Jade? What's happening right now? I'm being told red victory and I'll take it. It's the shellmates, two tanks who fire the shells and 10 clams who throw them. How is this both incredibly clever and cost effective? Like, I know I didn't pick the greatest map to face off against them because we've got this like choke point that's about two tanks wide where I'm gonna get run over. <laughs> Unless I use something that can't get run over, like Snuffy. I don't know if Snuffy can headbutt a tank. Actually, no, I, I know that he can. I don't know how it's gonna go. Probably not well, but if he can buy me enough time, then maybe I can use something like the Reaper? If the Reaper reaches the Clam Jam, then it's over. We'll be able to demolish them. <laughs> I've even got more money left over. We could also try guns? How about a whole bunch of guns? <laughs> I hear guns are really good. They're the new upcoming thing. Let's try that. Snuffy is oof. Gonna take a shell in the tits, but manage to slow them down a little bit? Oh dear, okay. Well, technically this is what I wanted. We've got a Reaper, we've got two Reapers. One seems to be stuck on a tank, but point is we've got a Reaper, we've got the Clam Jam. You should be able, oh yes. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? All those clams can't nibble at their toes because I mean, they only have bones and they're floating. Oh, it's just a lot of bears and one halfling. What is with the Hobbit revenge arc you guys are following today? What did I do to deserve this? I've never wronged you, Hobbit. Also, I don't think a lot of bears should ever follow the word just, as if it's not a big deal. <laughs> Once again, I want to try the Huacha. I want to see if you can shish kebab the bears. They're wearing armor. I don't know if it's effective against arrows, but there's a one way of finding out. Hopefully you guys shoot them all now. Oh no. Having a few survivors is bad because the riders are uh, real, real strong. Oof, oof, ouch. E okay, um, problems. Yeah, we got problems. Could you guys shoot? <gasps> it's a 1v1. Okay, do I take control of you? No, I've got complete and total faith that you can shoot this guy square in the tits. 
Yes! I don't even know what happened to the hobbit. Like, I'm pretty sure he just got run over and eaten by the bears, little idiot. Every modded god. I saw this recommendation from so many people, and you guys all thought you were being clever making me face off against all the modded gods without realizing that the Greek pantheon isn't part of this mod. You only get two, Thor and Odin, and I get to shish kebab them on sharpened telephone poles. <laughs> you see, Odin, this is why you don't have a take your kid to work day as a god. He's just gonna show up and screw everything. Okay, well that's a minor inconvenience, but... <laughs> Um, okay, is it too late to take back my cockiness? Oh, son of a... <laughs> okay, minor setback. All right, you know what? Screw the price limit. I'm not ready to give up on the god killer quite yet. Because <laughs> technically, Thor throws Mjolnir. He also deflects with it. So if it's out of his hand, then maybe he can't deflect and we'll be able to fire off a late volley and catch him with the couple poles. <laughs> Fingers crossed, guys, come on. We need to get ingenuitive here. Hey, we need to think outside the box. You gotta try something different. Like hitting him with the ballista. I like it. I've heard of a warrior's death, but never a warrior's concussion. Um. I think he's trapped underneath it, but he's- Oh, crap, he wiggled free. That's not good. Odin's down! Oh! Yeah! Okay, not entirely fair, but it still feels good. This is actually a little bit closer to being fair. I know I'm 700 over, but I'm gonna make an exception. You know, it's also 2v4, they're outnumbered, but we've got all of the modded gods versus all of the regular gods. So we've got Uller, we've got Artemis, we've got Zeus, and we've got Legacy Faction Thor. The Lesser Thor. <laughs> Let's see how they fare. Ooh. Okay. I want to say that Mjolnir just deflected Mjolnir, which is pretty sweet. Artemis, you are going to have to start shooting a whole lot faster. All the guys have let you down. Okay. Odin might be a little bit too strong against individual targets. <laughs> Zeus just doesn't make the cut anymore, man. He used to be nuts. Now he's just like a wet paper bag. I told you guys earlier on the episode that I had a nuclear option that I didn't want to resort to, but I've been left no other choice. <laughs> so we are going to have to rush him using a whole bunch of explosives, and hopefully that'll get the job done. If it doesn't, I'm going to need something back here to try to finish him off. A couple of wizards. <laughs> yup. Fingers crossed! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. No! He's the god of thunder! Why are you hitting him with lightning? You're a wizard! You should be able to do anything. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call this a loss. Monitor is too strong. You shall not pass. A bunch of wizards in a line. Oh yeah, I know exactly what I want to do here. We're gonna play a little Red Rover. Red Rover, Red Rover, send Wobbly Horse over because the chariot is kind of made of rubber, so it doesn't really care all that much about lightning. I know these are kind of confined spaces, so we're not gonna be able to turn around, but hopefully we can just charge through them all. Yeah, you see the horses ignore the spinning, but then kind of explode anyway. We ran over all the old men, but none of them got hurt. H how did we not break a hip or two? What if we try their magic against our bullets? I've been impressed with the gunslinger so far this episode, and I can spread him out enough and get enough of them that this should be a pretty impressive volley. Something like that? Okay, everybody fire at once. Please shoot, 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 shoot. You're making all the old men dance, but... We killed four of them. Oh no, three of them. <gasps> you have got to be kidding me. I don't understand. Why are these geriatrics invincible? Well, we just found out that Modded Thor is incredibly overpowered, and fortunately, I have the ability to use Modded Thor too. <laughs> so I guess you can get in there and hopefully throw down some lightning, throw some hammers, maybe back tag some old men. I'm down for it. They're not even gonna notice. Come on, they've been pushing rope and pooping dust for years. <laughs> oh, we lost a Thor. That's not supposed to happen. Wait, where's your Mjolnir? Where's your hammer, dude? 
How did you lose it? Are you suddenly not worthy? Okay, you know, he got it back. And we lost. How? This might actually be the time and place where we want to use Legacy Faction Thor. Because I can get a whole lot more of them. <laughs> Rather than two, we get seven? Hopefully that makes a pretty big difference. Can you guys... Okay. How are they not a scorched shadow in the sand right now? Okay, thank you. I was gonna say... <laughs> that was absolutely nuclear. That went well. I, I feel better now. It's a conga line. Just line up as many centaur peas as you can on the biggest map, single file. I'm not really sure which map is the biggest in this game. Like, technically, I could make this line longer by moving the starting line further to the left, but my computer already does not appreciate this. It's doing some weird things. So I'd kind of like this to end as soon as possible. I'm thinking maybe we just run them all over. Is that a possibility? If I just toss down a couple of tanks, can we hope for the best? What just happened? What was that weird zoom out effect? Oh, it's like a giant blue wave getting run over by the tanks. <laughs> or should I say stripping through the tanks? Yeah, they're, they're ripping the tanks apart. Okay, that's not really what I was expecting. What's with all the motion blur? There's not motion blur in this game. <gasps> Why does it look like this is being played out on an Etch-A-Sketch that's on a washing machine? Okay. We snap back to reality there for a second, and lost. Do you think the super peasant would have done a better job there? I'm honestly not sure, and I'm kind of afraid to find out because he flies through the air and just kind of runs through stuff way faster than the tank. I'm never gonna be able to spot all these bodies. I can't even keep my camera on him. This is like trying to follow a super saiyan when you're Krillin. What is happening? He's just a glowy streak. All I hear is pain. I mean, it's gotta be over. There's no way they're gonna win this with all their derpy swords and their butt to mouth sewing. Come on, finish them. Oh, my frame rate's returning. Slowly but surely. Uh, you still good over there? Yep, I think that's a win. We know what I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And once again, thank you guys so much for participating in this. You know, I can't make these videos without you guys. And to get responses so quickly, it means a lot because it's like I said, it's last minute. I don't know what I wanna play. I wake up, I try to think of stuff. And usually if I don't come up with anything, then I think, yeah, okay, maybe I'll just make another episode of Tabs. I need feedback right away. People provide it. It's just super handy. And like I said, if you didn't get to be part of this one, I apologize, I can't pick all of the responses responses and some people just don't know but keep it on my twitter at the captain sauce and if you want to see more as always leave a like in the video leave a comment with your own recommendation and maybe the next time i'll use the comments from this video but well, thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time